CNN, CNN, CNN. Mainstream media. <laughs> Be ashamed of themselves, man. But hey, we all know what type of time in their own, what type of gender they're on. We all know. Trump has told us many of times. <laughs> we all know what it's about, man. They should be ashamed of themselves, man. People have died. I want to send my love and condolences. Corey Comforter, love and kudos to his family. Someone has lost a loved one, a father. And there are also two more that are in critical condition. I want to send them my love and prayers right now as well. July the 13th, 2024 was a historic moment, you guys. A lot of us are still shaking up from it. You know, but. Got to continue to fight. Got to fight, y'all. But uh, I want to check out this, this clip uh, from Sky News. Um, Sky News host blast destroys CNN coverage of attempted Trump assassination. And as y'all, some of y'all already seen when when this when this hit the fan when they seen him go down. I mean, it was just like they were quick. They were so quick. To get just just terrible headlines out, unbelievable. Trump falls off stage. These the, the headlines were terrible, you guys. You know, the way they've wiped Donald through the mud. It goes right back to it. How they spin and take things out of context. Have made things look way worse. Have Said things that, that didn't even even happen. Fake news. Yeah. People have died, man. And then there's a lot of people out uh, uh, right now that are apologizing. Big time people, celebrities, see the people, Democrats apologizing for saying it was staged. Apologizing right now, it's all over the the media, the media social media. You look, you, you can everybody. You probably already know what I'm talking about. It's everywhere. People you never would have thought are endorsing Trump right now. Democrats right now are endorsing Trump. And it's sad. It's heartbreaking that it has to it had to come to this. It had to come to this, y'all. But God works in mysterious mysterious ways, boy, I tell you. Mysterious ways, man. And again, if you watch me uh react to that live, we cried tears, man. Trump was a turn away, man. Milli mi mi millimeters away, milliseconds away, but just a turn away. And this will be a, a totally different video. A totally different piece of history. <sighs> mm. All right, y'all. But let's check this out. We're living in the biggest history yet, y'all. 2024, I told you, 2024, this year.
prayers, man. We need prayers, y'all. It is a sad, sad day for America. It is hard to find the words to describe the shock and the horror that people are feeling right now. After many of us were witnessing on live television the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. This is a devastating day for America. Right now, people are pouring their hearts out on social media and posting pray for Trump. Many of the people I'm speaking with over there are feeling scared about how close this was. Looking at the still images, you can see the bullet that pierced his right ear as he gets up with blood smeared on his face. Look at what happened. Oh. <laughs> this horrific act has just deepened an already huge divide in the United States of America. Divided, but if you were following media outlets like CNN today, well, you would have thought that Donald Trump had a fall. Look at this headline. Secret Service rushed. When I seen these headlines, y'all, I, I, <sighs> Trump off stage after he falls at rally. Falls. It was an assassination attempt. He's not Joe Biden that doesn't know how to stand up. And that's not a one off headline. This morning, I was looking at my phone and I was taking screenshots because even though it's CNN, I still couldn't believe it. The next headline I saw, Trump injured in incident at rally. Incident. That's really what they wanted to go with when the man who's been president before and is running again was just shot. Oh, and there's more. Video captures what happened at Trump rally that left him injured. Ooh, wonder what it could be. CNN is using the video as clickbait while refusing to acknowledge what it is that just occurred, and that is an attempt to murder the man who is running for president. Some people have died. Someone has lost their life. Something that has not happened since 1981, when there was an assassination attempt on Republican President Ronald Reagan. I scroll further down CNN's website and I get to analysis, and of course there's this headline, Trump is favoured but Biden can still win this election. Well, I really doubt that. But let's leave CNN for now. I have more to say about their coverage in a moment because it actually gets worse. And let's look at some of the other reaction we are seeing today. And remember, America is right now feeling the weight and the heartbreak of what has unfolded today. But Colorado Democrat Stephen Woodrow posted on X, the last thing we need was sympathy for the devil, but here we are. Really classy. You know, comments like that are expected from troll accounts, but politicians? Well, it really gives us an insight into how dark and how ugly some of the thinking and some of the attitudes are. And also how much hate there is for Donald Trump. So let's look at what some of the Democrats have said in the past. Have they ever called for political violence? I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. and Maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick them. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. You would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face! When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? That's it right there, pulling up. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. It is just disgusting. Now back to CNN, because according to them, despite surviving an assassination attempt, there's no legitimate threat to Donald Trump. Donald Trump and the people around him perceive themselves to be under threat. And that's all that matters. That is, that is not legitimate. That is wrong. 
Oh, and here's more CNN coverage complaining about how Trump reacted seconds after someone tried to kill him. I do want to say there was one thing that when I watched the tape, I found odd uh, because of all of the heated rhetoric. And that is that after he was hit, uh, former President Trump got up and said, fight, fight, fight. I think what we're hearing from people is that's not the message that we want to be sending right now. We want to tamp it down. Mm. Now, we all know that those comments were going to come at some point. Let's find a way to criticise or even blame Donald Trump when we analyse how he was almost murdered on stage. But those comments came even faster than expected, just hours after he was attacked and while he was still recovering in hospital. There is no question that this is such a scary time for America right now. The people I've been speaking to say that they are scared after what they have witnessed and also what the future holds. But after today, I suspect we are going to see a lot more support for Donald Trump. We're seeing this already. Billionaire Elon Musk posted on X today, I fully endorse President Trump and hope for his rapid recovery. Despite all the hate in the world and even an assassination attempt, Donald Trump is not giving up. Wait, wait, wait. This is the latest from authorities in the U.S. It's that the FBI stands with the people of Butler County in western Pennsylvania and our hearts go out to the victims of this heinous act which occurred today. This is our community and I want to let the public know that the FBI has deployed a number of our resources including investigative agents, our evidence response team, bomb technicians, and we have additional resources coming from other field offices as well as from FBI headquarters, including our evidence response from Quantico, Virginia. We have intelligence analysts as well working from our field office in Pittsburgh, working feverishly to attempt to identify the individual who did this and any motives behind why this was done. Right now, we need the public's help, anyone who was on scene who saw anything, who identified any information. Please report that to the FBI using either the phone number 1-800-CALL-FBI or online at fbi.gov slash butler. This evening, we had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. It's still an active crime scene. As I mentioned, we have a number of agents on scene. We also are working closely with other federal agencies, our state partners, and our local police partners as well. Again, at this time, we are not prepared to identify who the shooter is. Uh, we are close to that identification, and as soon as we are 100% confident in who that individual is, we will share it with the press. With that being said, also, we do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly to attempt to identify what that motive was. <sighs> they should be ashamed of themselves, man. Shaming themselves, man. Want to send my love and prayers out to you guys, man. Want to send my condolences and love as well to the family who lost their loved one. Father, man. Rest in peace to you, Corey. I want to send my love and prayers to the two who also were wounded in critical condition. Prayers to Trump and his family.
I want to send my love, prayers to you guys around the world that are watching today's video. We got to come together, man. Got to come together. God is love, man. And I encourage you to spread the love. I love y'all. We're going to be bringing amazing updates um, as they hit the fan. Um, I'm going to keep from the inside and from the out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We're going to continue to fight, man. And especially all the way till November. Yes, indeed. I love y'all. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love, family.